In this video, I'm going to talk about what we mean by the skewness of a distribution. And another sort of word for the skewness of a distribution is the third central moment of a distribution. Okay, and I've drawn two particular PDFs for two different random variables. The first random variable you notice is centered, it's pretty much symmetric, and I've, I've drawn it such that its mean is 10. And this second distribution also I've drawn such that it has a mean of 10, or it looks like it has around a mean of 10. But notice that this second distribution isn't symmetric, whereas the first one is. So how do we capture that in just one number? Rather than having to draw this random variable, what, what's the sort of number we could use to actually uh, represent this skewness? And I should just, just sort of mention that this second variable is something which we refer to as positively skewed. And it's positively skewed because I've sort of skewed my variable out towards the x direction. I've, I've got a sort of a long positive tail of um, probability and distribution. Um, and that's why we call it a positively skewed distribution. So what could we calculate to actually represent this skewness of the distribution? Well, it turns out the one thing we could calculate is the expectation of x minus the mean, in, which in this case is 10, all cubed. And I'm going to explain why this will show us whether our variable is positively skewed or whether it has no skewness at all, like this one on the left hand side here. If we think about for every value of x, if we were to calculate sort of x minus 10 all cubed, and we could just sort of plot a graph of that, then our graph would look something like this. So when x is sort of around zero, x minus 10 all cubed is going to be a really, really big negative number. So it's going to be something like that. And then at x equals 10, it's zero. And then it goes out and it, and it accelerates quite quickly when I get further away from the mean there. And you can think about what the expectation of, I remember it's now we're sort of looking at the y axis. So you might want to turn your head sort of 90 degrees, perhaps. We're, we're trying to figure out what sort of value the sort of y axis takes on average here. And it's not hard to see that in this particular case, the sort of average value of y is just going to be zero. So the value of x minus the mean all, all sort of um, cubed for the case of a symmetric distribution is going to be zero. Let's contrast this with the situation we have here on the right. So on the right here, we have a sort of situation which looks slightly different. Um, and now we sort of have to think not only what does the sort of value of x minus 10 or sort of cubed take on, we need to think about we're just, just going to sort of weight this by the number of points which are sort of lying in that range. And we can sort of think about um, the sort of towards the left, it's going to look pretty similar to that of the left um, variable here or the sort of other uh, case which we drew here. But over towards the right, it's going to be quite different because there are loads and loads of points which actually lie quite a long way away from the mean towards the right of the distribution. So actually, it's going to do it's going to go up a lot more quickly than we did here on the left hand side. And because of that, the expectation of x minus the mean all cubed might be something positive. So it might be a value of two. So and, and that kind of makes sense. And it's another reason we call a positively skewed variable um, positively, because of the fact that we find that the skewness is positive for these particular types of variables. Okay, so that's what skewness measures. And I should note that for a negatively skewed variable, we would have got a negative number here. There's no sort of constraint that this third centered moment has to be um, positive. But normally when we sort of talk about the skewness of a distribution, we actually represent that by um, something which is a slightly different. What we do is we take the third central moment and then we divide that through by sort of sigma squared, but, or in other words, the variance, but then we sort of raise that variance to the power of three over two, such that we're sort of seeing how our sort of um, skewness varies relative to the variance. And we're raising it to the power of 3 over 2 such that these two things, the top and the bottom, have the same dimension. And predictably, for a normal distribution, the skewness is 0. And for any distribution which isn't symmetric, we're going to have a value of skewness which isn't equal to 0.